Here we are again now and it's like no time has passed Gazing out upon the sunset as it sinks into the night Many times it seemed as though a given day might be our last Face to face with certain death, it's somehow coming out alright I don't think that we have any cause to lament But there's quite a lot of thrilling intent Thrilling intent As you walk with a nervous but excited spring in your step, you're gonna go see your girlfriend. You had a really bad af- Okay, sorry. You had a, uh, bad afternoon to good afternoon to bad afternoon to, weirdly enough, the bad part worked out okay. Also, how long have I been awake? Not that long. You got- you were awake enough to get the briefing of more or less what happened. You woke up pretty recently and you're feeling, like, honestly pretty well rested. Maybe it's something that Nal did or something, but like, it almost feels like, uh, yeah, no, your body's like, your body's firing on all cylinders, weirdly. You can tell, like, but unlike, say, drinking too much coffee or, I don't know, adrenaline excitement, your mind has an odd amount of clarity, too, despite all of the... All the weird shit that's happened lately. You're feeling pretty good and like you've had a chance to process stuff, which, weirdly, you haven't, you know you haven't had time to process. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Why'd you laugh like that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on the way to my date, uh, I pass by Lyra and I really quickly turn, put a hand on his shoulder uh, and say, Lyra... You did really good. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, no, I, uh, <laughs> that was, that was the first. Uh, I'm, I think I might get a promotion, but honestly, if I, if I get promoted anymore, then I'll have Harlock's job and that's probably not all right. Like, I, I don't think there could <laughs> well, be hey, two Harlocks. If you're, if you're looking to change jobs, we've got plenty of, uh, opportunities over at Nine Shrines Adventures and Dines. It's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, as much as I appreciate the offer, he, like, grins a little, like, almost like that suggestion's really good, but kind of hurts him weirdly. Um, it's, this is something I've been, look, Astra's a strange one. She insisted on her inner circle being as casual with her as possible at all times, because, like, like, lowers his voice a little bit. She... She grew up as, like, a commoner. Like, she she was a nobility, and she kind of doesn't really want to be treated that way. Um, but this really is a... This is a position that I... That my family would have had to work, like, centuries for. And I lucked out that Astra's just accepting of, um... Well, sort of, like, stops for a sec. I... Do you know... You know Magic Left the Elm, right? Uh, yeah, so I've heard. I'm not, I'm, I'm, like, quarter human. Uh, oh, that's pretty neat. So, like, yeah, no, uh, previous nobility, yeah, they would be less so cool the, with that. So, so, all and human can interbreed. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> <laughs> like, kind of tips his head to the side. It's just rare because we're mostly a subterranean people. But, like, yeah, my, uh... So, yeah, uh, my my grandparents actually travel a lot. So, and some of them came back, and uh, we lost all of our status. So, this is like, as much as I'd love to go on adventures, and trust me, I I would love nothing more than to go on an adventure with you guys. I I need to do this. Like, I need a no, I need to show. Lyra, it's all good. I don't fault mm -hmm. you. I understand. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> he, like, <laughs> deflates a bit. It's just, like, it's hard because there's, like, what I want and then what I sort of need to do for people in my situation. And I understand. It's a mess. I've had a hard time figuring out my life. <laughs> well, Lyra, if you need someone to help you figure out what to do when you're torn between expectation and your own desires, give a chat to Marcus. Okay, is that a thing that he does too? Honestly, that 
just based on the five, five to ten minutes that I've interacted with your group, that seems like a universal trait to all of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. I mean, like, yeah. You are, like, the most, like, for such a happy-go-lucky group, you are immensely burdened. <laughs> yep. Anyway. <laughs> gonna go see if I can get some... Nice hugs from my girlfriend because, <laughs> like you said, could use some help bearing that burden. I would offer you the hug part, but I don't think it'd be nice. I have pokey bits in oh, my Lyra, shoulders. Oh, Lyra, don't be Not ridiculous. <laughs> I'll give you a hug. He he hugs you. He does indeed have pokey bits in his shoulders. That's fine. I give him a nice squeeze. Take 20 <laughs> damage. Take 20 damage, you're electrocuted. I die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Have Have fun on your date. I'm gonna... I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling more confident. I'm gonna normally I practice my magic each and every night. I think I'm gonna take a night off. I'm gonna see what everybody else is up to. Have fun on your date too. Thank you. <laughs> Big... He seems like both of you seem oddly confident considering who both of you are. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it might be it might be your repeated near death experiences, but yeah, no. You, at this point, it's like date whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, you're feeling, you're feeling good. You're feeling confident. I nod as I walk past these two: Aquilia, Big Drago. <laughs> <laughs> Aquilia lets out a quick "Hey!" Big Drago just nods. <laughs> I believe it. I step up to Fury, absolutely beaming. She immediately hugs you. <gasps> nice. <laughs> Ash, welcome back. I. I was listening when you guys were talking about all the things that you had to do. That sounded incredibly dangerous, and I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> she's, yeah, she's still hugging you, and you feel that nice, like, th that nice, like, rumbling that comes with, like, somebody talking at length when you're, like, in close physical contact with them. Anyway, d despite the fact that it was about your imminent and potential demise... <laughs> anyway, I like I've spent all of today sleeping so if you want to do anything or you want to like I don't know, raid a dungeon go look at some monsters or if you just want to hang out I am up for literally whatever because I tried to get out of bed and all the Alarani said oh, Ash's orders, you've got to sleep so I've been sleeping all day and I am <laughs> restless as heck she vibrates <laughs> 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 Sorry, Fury. You're pushed pretty far before, and I figured you'd, that you'd try and keep pushing, so. Yes, and I found out that they take your orders comically seriously. <laughs> they sure do, don't they? <laughs> Be less literal next time. <laughs> this knight is holding a pillow to the back of Fury's head. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I, I finally, like, unliquify from Fury's hug uh, and stand up and kind of, like, Hug her back, step back. So, Fury, hmm? I was thinking maybe we could chat a bit. Just kind of like, I don't know, do something and talk. I'd like to, like, really get to know you. Cause like, yeah, I want to know Ashling the next stabber more than I do right now. <laughs> Smiles. Uh, that's, first off, that's not what I'd call myself. That's not a name of endearment? No. Nope. <laughs> she looks heartbroken. <laughs> no, nope, Fury. Uh, sorry. But all your close friends call you that. <laughs> My close friends can be assholes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she looks disappointed in herself. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. So, like, what, 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 would you, what would you prefer to do? Would you, like, do you want to look at some monsters in chat? Do you want to, like, just walk through the underpoint in chat and Normally, see? Normally, I would suggest that we look dirt. <laughs> <laughs> she starts to talk and Brow just, like, furrows for yeah. half a second. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Normally, I would suggest we look at some monsters in chat, but I am physically incapable of talking while also examining a monster <laughs> about anything other than the way all of its parts connect up. It is pretty entertaining to watch you take a, uh, take apart a monster, but... Uh, Thank you. I am very enthusiastic. Oh, well, yeah, you're also quite good at it. Anyway, so I, I figure then probably... <laughs> visceral, visceral flashback to Fury, like, covered in deep red. in that creature, just covered in blood. You're like, yeah, you're very good at that, ha <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so I figure Marcus and Thog and so-and-so uh, built... <laughs> 
<laughs> built the the red light district or, or something. The the what did Jeez. you guys call it? <laughs> oh, no. I think we I decided think we to switch decided... it to fun zone. The fun I zone. I think we called it the fun zone. Yeah. Yeah. This is gonna be a wholesome date. Yeah. Did you really just come up with get... that name right now? Yeah. All right, yeah. Fury, you want to take a trip to the fun zone? <laughs> <laughs> takes takes a few steps back, quickly cracks open a book of pickup lines that Marcus gave her, <laughs> looks through it. Yeah, that is in here. <laughs> God damn it, Mark. Walks back, walks back over. Yes, I would love to take a trip to the eyes, like eyes, like fog over fun zone. Look, it's what they, it's what they named where they put all the good stuff. It's what? Not... Um, Ash and Fury, you you walk for a while together, like chatting inanely uh, on your way to your destination. Um, after a little while, Fury interrupts her fingers with yours and kind of leans against you. Hell yeah! Uh, Aww. Hell yeah! It's, it's like, <laughs> over a longer, more more romantic walk, it would be like, this would take a while, but you you look to where, fr- she, Fury does mental math in her head of like, when this is probably okay to do, sees that <laughs> the walk is like, 45 seconds, small talk, five words, five words, immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Speed ran the process. Fury, uh, I appreciate how much you're overthinking this. Fury's not overthinking anything. Fury considers <laughs> everything this much. <laughs> wow. You need to understand, her mind is a finely honed device that is just different than everybody else's. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. You, uh, you wander into the, uh, the fun zone and look at the, uh, the hot spring to your right and the restaurant to your left and immediately... In front of it, uh, you recognize a uh, recognize a familiar face. Don't 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 make eye contact. Just, just don't say anything. Just keep walking. Just, okay. Just um, yeah. Uh, that's that one's your friend, right? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> the one that you're refusing hey. to look at. Which one? How are you doing? The mm. <laughs> is that me? You're not looking at me. Oh, hello there, Ash. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the one Alarani guard turns around. Ash, you feel you feel that your date grow immeasurably more cursed. Fury beams at you. It's all right, Fury. I'll I'll handle this. Yeah. I'll handle this. Don't worry. Okay. Whenever whenever I'll... just any time there's a strange man in an alley, that's what I have this for. I pull out my knife. Okay. <laughs> um Oh. If you handle this, I'll go get food, and then we can sit on the docks. That smiles at you. That sounds great, Fury. Thank you. If okay. if I'm not here when you come back, just know that I I'm sorry. That's it. If you're yeah, if you're not here when I get back, just know that I really like you and think you're cute. <laughs> I clutch my heart and drop my knife. Oh, oh, are you having a heart attack right now? <laughs> no, well, fuck you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having emotions. Is that what that looks like? Oh, those look burdensome. Anyway, <laughs> I love it. I wanted to talk to you about something. Don't you always though? I pick up my knife. I mean, <laughs> usually I want to talk to the grander you because like you've got a dimension hopper in your group and someone who's aligned say, say with that? the mundane. Wait, a what? What? A, what? A dimension what hopper? Are you talk- yes. What? <laughs> Wait a second. Do you not believe your tall horned friend when he says he goes places? <laughs> no. No, of what? course not. You better like you better start. Oh my god. Look, the, fr- when he, the first time he brings me with, then I'll start believing. You get a flashback to all of the non-canon Christmas episodes <laughs> where he drags you to a different dimension. <laughs> Souvenirs all from right. the corner oh. store don't count as a different dimension. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, I was hoping to get your help with something. <sighs> All right. What do you need? Uh, just look, make it quick. I'm on a date. This is important. My time is valuable. Uh, yes, my time is incredibly valuable as well, so I will make this quick. Uh, he holds out the lantern. This thing is attuned with a very <laughs> special type of energy. Um... It only heeds the beck and call of its master. However, I think you might be able to approximate exactly what it's after. What? So if you could tell it to quiet down, that'd be great. Uh, 
Wait, that was the fucking thing that the steward was using. The fuck do you it have totally that? It totally was. It's, they gave it to me. <laughs> they just gave it to you? I mean, like, I could shut it off, but it'd require me, like, going on a five to ten minute trip, and that's too much time. Uh, fine, give it here. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> you, uh, you take the lantern, and there is, like, almost like a gas-powered off switch on the side of it. <laughs> Just hit the switch. Like, no one else can actually do that. Do it. Hit the switch, Rat. I'm holding it and pointing the switch at him. <laughs> oh, you don't want me to do that. <laughs> Why is that? Why can't anyone else do this? I feel like I'm being okay. set up for something. You're not being set up for... Okay, come over here. He motions over to this guard who wanders over. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, try to turn that switch off. Tries to flip the switch off. It just... It won't budge. See? I did won't listen to any... Just anyone. That... All right. Okay, fair. I mean, it'll listen to me. I mean, you just don't want it to listen to me. <laughs> but that guard might be a plant. <laughs> he hides back in the plants. <laughs> Hell yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, I want him. You! I point to the guard that was talking to me. Over here. Me? Yeah. <laughs> My name's Peepaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're asking Peepaw for help? Good. Yeah, Peepaw. That's Peepaw. Pete Paul. Pete Paul. <laughs> Can you Don't make me out to be some sort of cartoon character. Can you hit the off switch on this fucking lantern here? Yeah. Do it. <laughs> he does it. It doesn't work. No. Rat taps his, rat taps his fingers. <laughs> All right. You can go back to ignoring me now. Great. <laughs> roses. 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 <laughs> You know, I am cursed so that I see little name tags of literally everyone above their head. His name is not people. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, across his hands. My the shitty gummy switch. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with which which set of hands do I need to use to flip the switch? Literally, just your person hand. <laughs> <laughs> Look, rat, it's a fucking cursed item that sent me on a fucking dream journey. You'd think that it warrants a little bit of fucking caution! Why are you screaming at me? We're having a nice conversation. You're screaming at me! <laughs> oh, that's my normal tone and timber. <laughs> ah! I flipped the switch. It just turns off. You feel the curse dissipate. Thank you. Fuck! <laughs> now I'm all wound Fury. up! Fury wanders back over with plates of food. So? I heard you from inside. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, rat has that effect on people. <laughs> I've been told I'm very frustrating. Yeah, by me. Well, uh, it's good to see you getting along. Like I you... shake my head. I shake my head no a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> rat just smiles. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh... Let's go. Let's take you as your girlfriend. I have an obligation to drag you away from stressful situations when it's clear that they aren't adding to your health or happiness. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She grabs your arm and does start to drag you away. You're sort of like pointed backwards at Rat, who is just smiling at you the entire way. <laughs> I just glare at him. I just envision he just like flips the lantern back on. Oh damn it! Oh <laughs> damn it! Fuck me, I guess. 